Imagine if you could physically read history as it unfolds. Imagine if everything we are doing today and now had already happened. There is no way to prove this, of course, but there is also no way to disprove this. All across the world, there are megastructures, scripts, text, even proof of advanced machinery from a forgotten time in history. Are we doomed to repeat the process of advancing human knowledge and understanding at intervals in Earth's history only to be blinded by greed every time? If so, then we truly will never really understand anything. Just wait till you hear this. Let us start with Atlantis. In the very distant past, there was a highly advanced, sophisticated global civilization. We can all at least agree with this, right? But just what happened here on Earth that dismantled this civilization? Would it surprise you if we were to tell you that there is evidence that a nuclear war broke out on Earth over 10,000 years ago? There is evidence for this. In both the Indian epics and in the Sumerian texts, they describe godlike weapons that held all the power in the universe. Two great cities in that of Sodom and Gomorrah were obliterated overnight according to the book of Genesis. And there is also descriptions of people being turned into pillars of salt or dust, basically. When America dropped the nukes over Hiroshima and Nagasaki, there are numerous accounts of people who got vaporized in open spaces, but if you were behind a concrete building, the blast missed. These are similar to the accounts in the Bible. There are, in fact, numerous pieces of evidence that point to all-out war on Earth in the very remote past, and great changes on the Earth. This brought about the destruction of this worldwide civilization that appeared to have crumbled and fall into ruin. Only now we are beginning to pick through many thousands of years of lost history. It is as if we know the truth, but we are just slightly out of touching range at the moment, even though the evidence is compelling and staring right at us in the face, it is just beyond our conscious understanding. This has caused great controversy. If you think to yourself, just where was Atlantis? Was it an island or a great city? Or was it a lost continent? The fact is, we just don't know for sure, but the evidence scattered across the globe gives us a great stepping stone that puts this fabled place well beyond that of just speculation. In today's world, most humans believe that we are the apex and that this is the pinnacle of Earth civilization. Pretty ignorant. But it is not our fault that we think in this way. We have basically been programmed by the education process and religion to believe that we are in a state of never before. But there was a before time that was even greater than that of today. And there could even have been far greater civilizations that existed here millions of years ago. Doesn't that just blow your mind? We are only now coming out of the dark ages that resulted in the conscious mind being sent back into a primitive way of thinking, a survival state that still has trauma and fear, much like the way in which animals fear us humans today. In the remote past, it is said that gods walked the earth with men. And while the instructions from the invisible planes of nature were still laboring with the infant humanity of this planet, they chose from the sons of men the wisest and the truest. And with these enlightened ones, they left with them the keys of their great wisdom by with which they founded what we now refer to as the ancient mysteries. When we think of advanced civilizations that we know existed, we start with the ancient Sumerians. The Sumerians were the world's first recorded highly advanced civilization where the scriptures survived in the form of the cuneiform text. Strangely, the Sumerians not only depicted our solar system, but they also depicted the planets in the correct scale. 
we only recently rediscovered Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto, yet the Sumerians had this down between five to 7,000 years ago. Did they have access to some lost knowledge? You have to wonder. The first writings, the cuneiform, which there are over a half million of, by the way, was made to last. Just like the pyramids at Giza, these ancient texts were made to survive. But the translations are not as simple as any known language. In fact, they were completely undecipherable until recently. To this day, only around 17% of these texts have been loosely translated, predating the Bible by at least 4,000 years. They tell us that more than once, and in more than one place, that 432,000 years before the Great Flood, the Anunnaki came to the earth from Nibiru through the Great Bracelet, the bracelet being the asteroid belt, and landed in the Persian Gulf where they began to mine the region for gold in order to save their own planet's failing atmosphere. It is thought that the gold would reflect solar weather, providing a heat shield and in effect, repairing the atmosphere of their planet. The Anunnaki began to engineer a slave race on Earth by manipulating the DNA. They improved human DNA and go on to explain how it was done. Now, this sounds crazy, guys, but this is what these texts are telling us. They took the egg of a human and fertilized it with one of the Anunnaki gods that they placed it in the womb of an Anunnaki female who carried this till birth and gave birth to the first Adam, the first earthling. Over the next couple of thousand Earth years, they kept messing around with our DNA until they finally had an unstoppable race here on the Earth, us. This is where the theory of evolution falls flat on its face, the missing link. There is no missing link. We were genetically modified by the Anunnaki and our creators warned us that there would be a flood to cleanse the Earth of their creation as detailed by almost every civilization on Earth. This is where we went about trying to save the life on Earth as foretold in the story of Noah's Ark according to the Bible. But in the cuneiform text, it states that Anki gave the Sumerians the blueprints as to build a massive ark. Except consider not two animals of every species, consider a male and female DNA strain on board a massive vault in an effort to preserve life on Earth and repopulate the world. This was meant to be the end of civilization and it could answer the question as to how we forgot all the ancient knowledge. It could answer the ancient astronaut argument and also explain what happened to the lost continent of Atlantis. Perhaps the humans that survived the flood had enough knowledge to build wondrous cities in the post-apocalyptic world after the flood, and this led to a power struggle after a period of time. What do you guys think? Part two to follow. Thanks for watching.